next Tuesday. Feel the jam. Who is that? All those Grammys and look where you're at. <laughs> That's my jam. Next Tuesday on NBC. See that girl back there? I heard her going on and on about boxing. Thanks for looking out. I made that up. This is a prank. We got him good. What the fuck? You don't like it? Oh, we're headed back to her place. Thank you, Nikki. Grand Crew, Friday on NBC and streaming on Peacock. Later, Jimmy Fallon welcomes Adam Driver, NBC Tonight. Tonight, a high-profile public hearing is coming to Manaqua. We'll hear about how you can give input for the state budget. Plus, Northwood students got a crash course in finances today. We'll have a look at an event and how it's teaching teens life skills. And it's the end of an era for a longtime video store. We'll have the details as your local news starts right now. News Watch 12 with Dan Hagen, Jessica Jukic, and Jeff Weller. Good evening and welcome to News Watch 12 at 10. I'm Jessica Jukic. And I'm Dan Hagen. The state's Joint Finance Committee has a lot of influence. Every two years, they write a new state budget. With that process comes public hearings, and they've scheduled their last hearing in Manaqua. Here's footage from a 2021 budget hearing at the Hodag Dome in Rhinelander. The Joint Finance Committee, or JFC, announced the four hearings today. They will be in Waukesha, Eau Claire, Wisconsin Dells, and Manaqua. Democrats on the committee criticized the fact that no hearings were scheduled in the most populous communities in the state, like Milwaukee or Madison. The Manaqua hearing will take place at Lakeland Union High School on Wednesday, April 26th. It will begin at 10 a.m. and last until 5 p.m. Anyone is welcome to attend and give input for what should be in the next state budget. The School District of Rhinelander and Rhinelander Partners in Education teamed up today for an annual event that aims to teach students valuable financial skills like balancing a checkbook. In total, more than 200 students from around the Northwoods attended today's Mad Money event at the Rhinelander High School. But today, those students played adult and were assigned incomes, families, and debt. Newswatch 12's Nick Van Zell has more from the event. Every time you pay for something, you have to deduct it in your checkbook. Kaya Hanold is a sophomore at Rhinelander High School, and she has dreams to be an orthopedic surgeon. Today, she was able to picture what that's like. We get jobs, and we have money, and we have to pay bills and loans, um, like car insurance, health insurance, um, house insurance. She was also assigned a spouse, a child, and $11,000 in credit card debt. Patrick Kubney is the personal finance teacher at Rhinelander High School, and he says students have responsibilities and choices. They pretty much make a budget with the rest of the remaining money, and they get to go to business to business to buy their homes, their cars, their groceries, their insurance, their fun things. As a simulation wound down, Kaya shared a new perspective. I never really knew what it was like for my parents to be paying for insurance and vehicles and stuff like that and coming here today and doing that myself it takes a toll on the money and I it's teaching me a lot pretty nice day to be outside today chief meteorologist Jeff Weller joins us with the first look at our forecast Jeff yeah high temperatures up near 40 today pretty much across all north central Wisconsin tomorrow same story followed by some changes on Thursday Friday and Saturday but look almost 40 39 here in Rhinelander today 45 for Tomahawk so a very nice day above average temperature wise but now we're back below freezing you know what that means right everything wet is going to refreeze tonight and be slippery again by tomorrow morning so take it easy out there once again as we are now back below freezing all right so lots of clear skies earlier today but then the clouds have rolled back in and you're like uh-oh what's that well that will leave us alone until late thursday into friday it's going to go that way uh but there's quite a system coming our way for late thursday into friday tracking to the south of wisconsin meaning we're going to get some snow but not a lot of snow probably a one to three inch snowfall across the area on friday morning and we'll be done with that system pretty quickly our fourth Forecast then for tonight, though, we're talking about mostly cloudy skies and partly cloudy skies with low temperatures down near 21. Your full forecast is coming up, Dan. A judge has ruled that there is probable cause to move forward in a case involving a new bold man accused of election fraud. James Daskowitz of Newbold is charged with one count of election fraud and one count of misconduct in public office. Staskowitz was in court on Monday 
where the court found probable cause exists in this case. Staskowitz is a supervisor for the town of Newbold. He was arrested in February in his effort to run for re-election. According to the United County Sheriff's Office, Staskowitz admitted to having forged signatures on his campaign papers. He is scheduled to be back in court on March 27th. Wisconsin Republicans are preparing to again block a new policy that requires students to get vaccinated twice against meningitis and tightens chickenpox vaccination mandates. Republicans on the Legislature's Rules Committee criticized the mandates during a public hearing on the policy today. The state's chief medical officer said the vaccinations are the best way to protect children. Meningitis can be deadly while the vaccine has very few side effects. A committee vote to block the vaccine policy could come within days. A spa center in Merrill is celebrating their one-year anniversary this week. It's called Tranquil Times Wellness, located on East 1st Street. Owner Vanessa L Lazars says that on Friday, the Holistic Wellness Facility will host an open house that will feature tours of their building, meetings with spa specialists, along with a prize drawing of more than $500. You can come here and you can literally spend the whole day here receiving different services. So if you have anything that you think um, would benefit, we probably can help. Their open house will take place on Friday between 10 and 4. In recent months, one local historical society has received new information on an infamous bootlegger's activities in the Northwoods. Al Capone spent a lot of time in the Manitowish Waters in Winchester and Mercer area. The Manitowish Waters Historical Society received a new collection of letters and pictures from the Hawkinson family about Capone. Board member Jim Bokern says he was part of the moonshine movement up north. As a resort area, uh, we had the advantage of having a diversity of visitors in the region. Their latest collection shows that Capone's brother, Ralph, had a permanent residence in Mercer. To see the full interview, go to our website, wjfw.com. A Wisconsin man is lucky to be alive after he went through ice on a frozen pond trying to rescue his dogs. He's resting at home now, relieved, warm, and dry. Bruce Harrison has his story. Todd Fornis planned to spend Sunday on the couch watching golf. I was cutting wood two days ago with the, from the storm damage, and I hurt my back a little bit, and then the next day, I go swimming. An unexpected dip in this pond, trying to save his dogs. You just grab this and put it down flat and kind of got on your belly on the middle of it. And yep, and then just pulled myself out there. On body camera video, first responders straining to pull Fornis to shore. What went through your mind when you went through the ice? Um, I don't remember. It was just get to, get to the dogs. Todd says Bo and Stormy know normally not to go on the ice, but they decided to chase two goofy geese, he says, that just didn't fly south this winter. Fornis' partner called 911 and Racine County Sheriff's deputies, a state trooper, and Raymond and Fire Rescue arrived within minutes. Stormy the dog got out on her own, but Bo and Fornis needed an assist. I was tired. Yeah. I was, I was um, not my last breath by any means because I had my, the float with me, but yeah, I was tired. The sheriff's office says Fornis was in the water for about 10 minutes. He says he's fine and grateful. You know, they came out to uh, help. You don't know if, uh, they don't know if they might get themselves in trouble. So I, I can't thank them enough. And the dogs? Well, Stormy's a little skittish from all the activity Sunday. But Bo, he just wants to play. And fortunately, it appears the geese have finally taken flight. Glad they're all safe. Athletic trainers can work in a wide range of settings. We'll hear how they keep students safe during games. And Senator Tammy Baldwin wants to crack down on cybersecurity. We'll have the details of a new bill after weather with Jeff right here on Newswatch 12. New News Now with Kevin Kraft and Jeff Weller. Weekdays on News Watch 12. Huge online auction, Rhinelander, Wisconsin. Complete dispersal of Nicolay Service Center. Four tractors, snap-on tools, auto lift, welders, auto body equipment, and trailers. Contact Brass and St. Louis Auctions for more details. Sure, it's nice to have my three older kids home to visit. Oh yeah, I love coming home. I miss having soft water. That's why I bring my laundry home on the weekends. It's so much better for my hair too, but you wouldn't know anything about that, Corey. Well, that's why my hair looks so nice and moisturized. What do you know about moisturized hair? Hmm, 
Well, having two older sisters and a brother who only showers a couple times a week helps. Well, actually, 72 years of treating water in Wisconsin is our family's story. You kids are pretty well versed in water. So let us make your family's water better today. Sore back but hate mattress shopping? Yes. Totally dread it. Totally. Totally. Come to Slumberland and see how we've made mattress shopping easy. How easy is that? So easy. So easy. <laughs> Get your sleep solution at Slumberland Furniture. You can always find great looking furniture at incredible everyday low prices at Slumberland Furniture. Like these modern sectionals and sofas, starting as low as $3.99. And always free doorstep shipping. Get your look for less at Slumberland Furniture. Hepatitis C? Don't just treat it. Crush it with Maverick. Conquer it with Maverick. Cure it with Maverick. Maverick cures all types of hep C. In only eight weeks. The virus multiplies daily and can damage the liver over time. Maverick stops hep C and cures it. If you've had hepatitis B, it may flare up and cause serious liver problems during and after treatment. Tell your doctor if you've had hep B, a liver or kidney transplant, other liver problems, HIV, other medical conditions, and all your medicines. Do not take Maverick with atazanavir or rifampin. Report right away yellow skin, stomach pain or swelling, confusion and bleeding or bruising. Hep C, crush it with Maverick. Conquer it. Cure it in only eight weeks. See Hep C gone with Maverick. Ask your doctor about Maverick. Abby could help you save. Dan Kelly won't keep our community safe. As a lawyer, Kelly defended child sex predators who posed as ministers in order to prey on vulnerable young girls. They lured young children to locations they believed to be safe only to sexually assault and molest them. And Dan Kelly defended those monsters. Do you want someone like that on the Supreme Court? Dan Kelly, an extremist who doesn't care about us. A hint of spring in the air today with high temperatures up near 40 and some sunshine through the afternoon. That felt good, but then the clouds rolled back in from the west and it's mostly cloudy out there now as there is a system to the west of us right now. But overall, look at these highs. 39, almost 40 here in Rhinelander. 41 for Merrow, 41 for Wausau. Very comfortable, the average high being 34. All of us were above that today. But not so much anymore. We're cooling off pretty quickly now. There are a few breaks in the clouds out there. So look at that radiational heat and thus we're already down to 22 in Lando Lakes, 31 for Wausau, so we're back below freezing. And you know what that means, anything wet or slushy that melted today will likely refreeze tonight and be a few slippery spots around by tomorrow morning. But overall, a clash of seasons here, right? Look across the Dakotas, high temperatures in the single digits to teens today. Meanwhile, parts of the east around Chicago had highs in the 40s to low 50s. Uh, that's a clash of seasons. You typically get a system out of that uh, precipitation at least and that's happening now across parts of Minnesota but that will not mess with us though anytime soon most likely later on Thursday into Friday first off though temperatures 38 tomorrow a couple of you will touch 40 tomorrow uh, 36 on Thursday and then uh oh what happens here well winter's gonna return right 30 on Friday 32 Saturday and most likely holding temperatures in the 20s for highs through much of next week uh, we're definitely gonna feel that right okay outside now we had lots of clear skies early but now the clouds have increased. The high clouds are out there now. And there is a system over here, uh, a pretty good one, right? You're like, uh-oh, we're in trouble. But that is going to stay there for now. It's not going to move this way at all. This air over here is just too dry. It's going to keep that at bay until late Thursday into Friday. And at that time, it's going to have an area of low pressure. That one right there is going to come along and kind of get that moisture. And that's going to bring a pretty good storm system across southern Wisconsin into Michigan late Thursday into Friday is where the heaviest snow is going to be, although up our direction, we'll probably have a one to three inch snowfall, uh, maybe a little bit more than that for the south. Portage County, Wapaka County, Marathon County could see three, four inches of snow late Thursday into Friday. Let's walk you through it. So here we are out there tonight looking at mostly cloudy skies. Now by tomorrow, again, that one goes that way. We're all good tomorrow. But here comes this big system, right, for late Thursday into Friday. Heavier snow south, light snow to the north. That gets out of here. Behind it, we'll get a break in the action Saturday. Here comes the next system. This will be a one to two, maybe a three to four inch snowfall on Sunday. That gets out of here, and then look what's upstream. Another one, right? So we're in a very active weather pattern now uh, that could bring us several rounds of a light snow uh, at best around here. Going forward, though, so these are the four top 
heaviest snowfalls in March in Rhinelander. And I put this up here yesterday because I thought maybe the storm on Thursday and Friday could do something. It likely will not around here. It will across parts of southern Wisconsin on Thursday and Friday. So our forecast then for tonight, though, we're talking mostly cloudy skies, low temperatures down near 21 with that east breeze around 5 to 10. For tomorrow, all right, it's Wednesday already. Lots of clouds around. High is reaching for 40. A couple of you will probably do it uh, with a southeast wind that could gust or 10 to 15. And then looking ahead, your seven-day forecast by Northwest Furniture Metro shows a quiet day tomorrow, a bit cooler for Thursday. Thursday night into Friday, it gets messy snow across the area. Less snow north, more snow south. Quiet Saturday before we get more snow with the time change on Sunday. Dan. The app TikTok hosts millions of videos and algorithms curate which videos a person sees. While the app is wildly popular, it's also under scrutiny for its association with the Chinese government. Some fear the app could be used to collect Americans' personal data. Today, a group of senators, including Wisconsin's Tammy Baldwin, introduced a bill called the Restrict Act, which they say tackles national security threats from foreign tech. During today's press conference, Baldwin said there is a growing threat from the Chinese government to collect data from Americans. She and the other senators see this as a threat to our national security. This bipartisan legislation will empower us to respond to our changing media environment, giving the United States the tools that it needs to assess the threat of foreign-owned technology and, where appropriate, uh, to take steps to restrict access. The Restrict Act does not target TikTok specifically for a ban, but it aims to give the U.S. government new powers. March is National Athletic Training Month. Athletic trainers can work in a variety of settings and focus on strength training and injury prevention. In tonight's Feel Great Today, we'll explain how they help student athletes. Feel Great Today with Jessica Jukic. We are in all different settings. We have the traditional professional sports, high school, college athletic trainers. We have the industrial athletic trainers in clinic. We have performing arts, military, uh, public safety. Ashley Rotier is an athletic trainer who works for Aspirus Northland Orthopedics. She helps Northland Pines high school student athletes increase flexibility and prepare for games. A lot of the things we do is prevention um, and so a lot of medicine is reactive okay you get hurt you go see um, a medical professional um, and we're kind of like let's not get you hurt and let's help you a little bit that way Rotier also attends student games and watches for injuries if an injury happens Rotier evaluates the student and implements a rehab program she gives them instructions on how to care for the injury and gives them therapy during the week Getting injured, seeing them at a really low time, um, you know, sometimes mental health plays a role in their recovery and coming back. They sometimes can develop depression, things like that, and we kind of get to see them through that whole point. Um, and then to see them, you know, score a touchdown or take that three-pointer or, you know, hit a home run. When we get to see that moment, it kind of gives you chills and gives you a little goosebumps. By working in the high school setting, Rotier can help athletes who play multiple sports. I'm always available for them, but if they are playing multiple sports, it does give me an opportunity. I can watch their basketball practice and I can see if they're favoring one side versus the other or you know even if they're doing weightlifting or strength and conditioning in their off season and I can look and see what they're doing and and kind of make corrections from that point of view. Thanks for the insight. Next Tuesday night we will talk about sports specialization and the disadvantages of it. Coming up on Newswatch 12, Serenity Douglas will join us to break down the Bucks game tonight and the Leona Wabino Rebels' first ever trip to the state basketball tournament. To the dentist! To the dentist! To the dentist! We're off to see the dentist, the most wonderful dentist of all. They are the whiz of all there is that has teeth involved. If ever, ever a doctor there was, these are them because, 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 because. Farming today doesn't always feel the same way it used to. Then again, some of it feels all the same. Maybe it isn't so much the jobs that changed, but how they get done. Now that's a different story. Everything got bigger and smaller at the same time. Insurance, accounting, and taxes can get complicated. So you need someone who's looking to keep every dollar possible in your pocket. 
Egg Country. Get personalized support. Call the Wisconsin Tobacco Quit Line at 1 800 Quit Now. Get your tickets today to meet the Packers on the 2023 Tailgate Tour. Simply scan the QR code on the screen to purchase tickets. The Boys and Girls Clubs of the North Woods is hosting a great futures fundraising event at the Lakeland Aviation of Minocqua Airport on April 14th. This fun-packed evening will include activities, food and drinks, door prizes, a live and silent auction, music, and Q&A with the Packers. For more information, go to bgcnorthwoods.org. ELM Repair in Edgar is a family-owned and operated full-service diesel repair shop. From pickups to semi-trucks to heavy equipment and RV service. If it runs on diesel, we can repair it. Want more power and better mileage? Our experienced professionals will get your truck running and at peak performance. With a state-of-the-art dyno and fully stocked parts department, we can even come out to you with our 24-hour mobile repair service. ELM is always looking for passionate and talented people to join our team. The Diesel Doctor. Have it done right the first time at ELM Repair. Coming up, we'll be joined by members from the Tomahawk Historical Society. And overall, we're going to stay dry with clouds moving in as we head towards Wednesday to Thursday, snow moving in Thursday night into Friday. More when you tune in on your Wednesday from 5 to 7 a.m. It's every student athlete's dream to play in the state tournament, but only a few of them get to turn their dreams into reality. Leona Wabino girls basketball will be making history with their trip to state on Thursday. I caught up with them at practice to discuss the big dance before they head to Green Bay. We can do more than just make it to state. We can make some noise down there too. Since combining as Leona Wabino, the girls basketball team has never made it to state championships until now. We're literally making history right now, so I think just thinking about that and the fact that it is my senior year and my last game's going to be on the rush floor. I think that makes it a lot less sad. Although they've had a good run this season, the journey to state hasn't always been easy. We were beat up about beginning of December. We got hit with the injury bug and from there until really the end of the year, we had a bunch of just little nagging injuries. The Rebels have made history, but there's still work that needs to be done to secure the state championship trophy. I think that we are going to have a few good practices beforehand and we just got to stay focused at practice and um, I think Mr. Harrison does a very good job at keeping us focused and dialed in. Leona Wabino has a well-rounded team with different leading scores each game. Our main strength is our balance. We uh, have anybody that can go off and score you know, 15, 20 points. Um, eight of our nine girls who play a lot have been in double digits this year at some point. We're very diverse. We have a lot of girls that are able to step up to the plate. And just so when one person is having that off night, we have the girls that can step up and take their place. The girls are looking forward to the trip to Green Bay and are ready to make their impact on the court. I think this is something that we've been aiming for for forever and just to, for it to finally be here and finally make it that far, get over that little hump, um, it's, it's a weird feeling. I'm Serenity Douglas here in Leona, Newswatch 12. My partner in crime, Saul Meyer, will have a preview of the Lakeland T-Bird girls basketball team appearance tomorrow. But let's talk professional basketball. The Milwaukee Bucks have been on a tear for the last two months, winning 17 out of the last 18 games. But tonight would be a tough task since the team's top two scorers were out. Giannis Antetokounmpo and Drew Holiday were both out tonight, but plenty of bucks to step up, especially these two. Chris Middleton to Brooke Lopez for the alley-oop. Then two would combine for 50 points tonight. And new addition, Jay Crowder, bringing some pop from off the bench. He nailed this three and go on to score 15 on the night. To the second half, Javon Carter strutting his stuff. Pump fake, then step back, three ball. It's good. Then a little bit later, he drives in the paint and dishes to Crowder, who makes another three. Carter would finish with 24 points and five assists on the night. Milwaukee goes on to win this one, 134 to 123. Bucks are rolling right now with sole possession of first place in the East. They host Brooklyn on Thursday. We'll be right back after the break. 
Hi, I'm Brian from Creative Granite. When I need the forecast from Minocqua, I go to WJFW.com for my hometown forecast. Your hometown weather, available 24-7 at WJFW.com. The local water experts at Culligan can take care of... Everything but the kitchen sink. Actually, we do that, too. Culligan, here for every water worry. I've never been afraid to express myself, to create a life I love. I worried cancer could steal my spark and become my identity. But UW Health designed custom treatments just for me. And now, my legacy? It's still in the making. Because standard, well, that's never been my style. UW Health. Remarkable. Some numbers simply have more meaning than others. After an accident, there's one critical number. The number that helps you get your life back by factoring in your needs for today and tomorrow. That's where Habish Habish and Rotier's numbers really add up. With over 90 years of client successes and 13 offices to help you wherever you are. Trust Habish personal injury attorneys to get the number that's right for you. Call now. There are so many things we take for granted. So many things. And along with them, sometimes we take the people who depend on them for their survival for granted too. The elderly, disabled, the veterans, people on limited and fixed incomes, or folks that lost jobs in sectors hardest hit during the pandemic. How can they survive with record increases in their basic cost of living? Some people just can't come back. And through no fault of their own, they're being left behind, struggling to keep their heat, water, and power on. If you or someone you know needs a hand up, our heat, water, and power providers are working together to keep you safely in your home. You may not ask for it, but we're here to help. It came before Blockbuster and kept its doors open for decades. Now, Minnesota Video Store says it's time to roll the ending credits. Marielle Mose shows us how the people who work there and their customers kept it alive for so long. You know, we got the dramas here. There's plenty of great dramas. Uh, Troy Rachie can give a review about most of the movies on these shelves. Rain Man is a great one that I can always watch. That's because he's called Video Universe in Robbinsdale home for 29 years. I started uh, when I was 15, actually, and uh, first job. He didn't intend to work here this long, but there was something special about this place he couldn't let go of. You know, the business world was always going to be there after, but this job wasn't. And so I continue to ride the wave. It's instant nostalgia when you walk in here, from the classics on the shelves to the candy that has never been touched by inflation. I guess this is about the last of the dinosaurs here. But after about 40 years in business, the owner is ready to retire, and Troy is anxious to start his second job. It, it'll make me sad that, that the next generation won't see what a video store is like. Unless parents enlighten their kids before this place closes. My dad would just come here sometimes to get movies that we couldn't get on streaming or anything. Henrik and Sylvia C. Wilson were lucky enough to learn about these ancient artifacts. Apparently, an appreciation for a video store can be passed down. It's so awesome to just go here sometimes and just see all the old movies from, you know, when we were not even born. Dan Kelly won't keep our community safe. As a lawyer, Kelly defended child sex predators who posed as ministers in order to prey on vulnerable young girls. They lured young children to locations they believed to be safe only to sexually assault and molest them. And Dan Kelly defended those monsters. Do you want someone like that on the Supreme Court? Dan Kelly, an extremist who doesn't care about us. To the dentist! To the dentist! To the dentist! We're off to see the dentist, the most wonderful dentist of all. They are the whiz of all there is that has teeth involved. If ever, ever a doc there was, these are them because, 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 because of the painless care. 
When searching for your next truck, you want your truck to last. Get the job done right with a Lens truck. We have them all. Half-ton trucks, Power Strokes, Cummins, Duramax, SUVs, over 800 to choose from. Know that all Lens trucks are fully inspected, certified clean, and can be bought hassle-free online. Go now to LensTruck.com. Lens Truck, Lens Truck, we got the trucks at Lens Truck. We got the trucks. Hate it when a car freshener hits you with an overwhelming blast of perfume? Febreze Car Vent Clips work differently. Febreze gives you consistent freshness that starts just right and stays just right for 40 days. Upgrade to Febreze Car. Experience the feel of a dentist's clean at home with Oral-B. Round cleans better by surrounding each tooth. So clean, you'll feel like you just left the dentist. What you waiting for? Oral-B. Brush like a pro. Come and get it. Menards is your lighting headquarters. We have a great selection of lights from top brands, including Good Earth Lighting. Good Earth light fixtures are eco-friendly and super efficient, saving you money on your next electric bill. Get a light that complements your unique style, has cutting edge and innovative features, or helps you with your home projects. Pick up this 45-inch 10,000 lumen LED shop light for $29.99 after sale price and 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. Builder Service, we are your hometown hardware store. Plumbing, electrical, paint, automotive, keys, tools, lawn and garden. We're more than just a lumber yard. Highway 45 in Elko. All right, ladies and gents, an alligator that was stolen from a Texas zoo 20 years ago has finally been returned. That gator was stolen by a former volunteer at the zoo when it was just an egg. It was then hatched and raised by the woman for the last 20 years. She was caught recently. You know, the alligator's about eight feet long now. Kind of harder to hide. Yeah. The alligator was moved back to a zoo. She is now facing criminal charges. Do you so keep the questions. alligator in your yeah, basement? So funny. Yeah, I think you keep it outside. So I have so many questions. Did she get in trouble? Does she not? She got in trouble, she's, yes. Yeah. She's in a lot of trouble. Or Oh my God. No. <laughs> not okay. something I That alligator take. would not like our temperatures up here. Let's so. go with that, okay? No. Let's go outside now and check out what's going on. Here we are in Park Falls, where the streets are a bit icy again, because we are back below freezing. So look for a few slippery spots, but dry across our region tonight. Already in the 20s, even a couple teens in here tonight. So uh, there's a few pockets of clear skies, so that'll give us that radiational cooling, and thus give us low temperatures near 20. But then here's your seven days. So a lot going on here, right? So tomorrow, very nice. Nice. Thursday, very nice. Thursday night late and Friday, light snow, probably a one to three inch more as you go south. Saturday quiet. We got to watch that system on Sunday. That could bring us even more snow, shovelable snow on Sunday. Definitely not alligator weather out yeah. there, sir. <laughs> well, that's all the time we have. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Have a good night. Looking to make a switch from your current wireless carrier? Make Cellcom your choice. Now, through the end of the month, get six months of service for free with a new smartphone line activation and flex agreement. Choose from the latest phones and a plan that meets all of your wireless needs. Plus, join Cellcom and we'll cover your cost to switch up to $650 per line. Visit Cellcom.com slash save for more details. That's Cellcom.com slash save. The 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline is here and ready to help. Anyone in Wisconsin can call, text, or chat to get connected to a trained 988 counselor. Trained counselors are here to support anyone experiencing a suicidal, mental health, or substance use crisis. You can also contact 988 if you're concerned about someone. 988 is confidential and free to all Wisconsin residents. 988-24-7. Call, text, chat. Here to support you. Built for Tough is a commitment to providing you the capability, productivity, and the technology that you expect from Ford F-Series, the best-selling trucks for 46 years straight. And now during Ford Truck Month, find out what a Built Ford Tough truck can do for you. This is Ford Truck Month, America. 
I just got the new Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra from US Cellular. With the most powerful processor yet, it can game smoother than ever. With Nitography, it can take selfies in low light. Click. And with a longer battery life and US Cellular's 5G network, it can stream my favorite shows around the clock. Amazing. Can it go back in the back? Yeah, it can go back in the back. Okay. Did you just kiss the phone? The new Samsung Galaxy.